Hi guys, today I'll show you how to upgrade your Asus GL502 storage to an SSD drive. There are a few things to mention here, so let's get going. First thing you're going to do is obviously buy the drive itself. The GL502 supports SATA drives and has an additional PCIe slot for an M.2 drive as well. I got mine with a SATA 850 Pro and PCIe 950 Pro from Samsung. Removing the back cover is easy enough. Be sure to place your laptop on a soft surface, not to scratch the aluminum cover. There are a few screws to remove, so it's a good idea to place them close to the corresponding holes after removal. So you can put them back in easily after you're done. The lid is secured to the chassis by some clips. It's better to start prying it off from the corner. You can use a card or some flat plastic tool to make it easier. Remember not to pull too hard. If it doesn't come off, just try another place. It will come off eventually. The cover is quite sturdy, but it's better to be gentle with it anyway. So as you can see, we got space for two drives. The easier install is the PCIe one. You just pop it in like I did. If you don't have a screw to secure it in place, just borrow one from the SATA drive. The hard drive is in an enclosure that's held in by four screws. After removing them, you can slide the hard drive out gently by pulling it downwards.
To take it out of the enclosure, remove the screws on the side. Before inserting the SSD into the enclosure, make sure it's in correctly, so you can plug it into the SATA connector. When you put the screws back in, make sure that you do it just enough force. It don't have to be extremely tightened in, as that may cause damage. When you're done with replacing the drives, it's time to put the back cover on. Make sure to apply a bit of pressure everywhere, including the center, so the clips pop back in. Remember not to tighten the screws too much so it doesn't cause damage to the chassis.
make sure everything aligns nicely from all sides. It's a good idea to put the hard drive in an external enclosure, preferably a USB 3.0 one, as those offer quite nice speeds. As you can see, the computer booted up pretty fast. I got the OS on the PCIe drive. Installing Windows on one of the drives requires a bit of changes in BIOS. Entering BIOS is quite simple. All you have to do is rapidly press the F2 key after pressing the power button until the BIOS shows up. First, go into the Boot tab and disable Fastboot. After that, go into Security and disable Secure Boot Control. Save the changes without exiting. Enable CMS so the computer sees the drives. Save changes and exit. As you can see, we have the 850 drive in here now, so you can change the boot order if you like. Now, there are two ways of installing the drives. If you want, you can install Windows by making a bootable USB stick and set that as the first boot option. All you have to do then is pick one of the drives during Windows installation. They will both show up. You can also copy all files using the Samsung Magician software but that will work if you're moving from the hard drive to a PCIe drive because you need to have both drives in the computer. I recommend a clean install and moving files from the hard drive through USB after buying an enclosure. That's the best way to do it. Okay guys, that's it for the video. In case you have any questions, give me a shout. I'll see you in the next one.